Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you now? <laughs> Alrighty, folks. So here we are upstream, upriver, upland. Not sure. Um, we are going to mix things up and do things differently, more so bushwhacker style, this episode. So here's what we're in for. Uh, this morning, I got up here early to do the first fish at Mossy Rock. I've driven upstream here, um, and now I'm parked at the top of a pretty well-known section of river. I refer to it as Paycheck Valley or uh, Hell's Kitchen. I like Hell's Kitchen and it's kind of cool. Uh, what I am doing is I'm going to, I got my pack here, you'll see it in a second. Uh, it's my hiking pack, my multi-day pack, and I'm rigged up to go down river. It's about a half an hour hike, so at least a kilometer or two. Downhill, uh, down a gorge really, uh, to the bottom of the river. Uh, it's an area that I am just in love with and I, uh, plan to just kind of make the campsite more sustainable. Before I got into fly fishing and everything, um, my background was you know, an outdoor adventure, working as a guide, and, and I went to school as a trained outdoor guide. And I, you know, I have a lot of experience hiking. Um, you know, I've done the Dobson Trail, the Funday Footpath multiple times, uh, done some you know, really good hikes back home in Ontario and uh, yeah, I have quite a few multi-day trips under my belt. So, two feet in a heartbeat and my pack with everything I need for the night and we're gonna do this bushwhacker style. Uh, so now I'm just trying to get the lay of the land up here and figure out all these uh, spots where I'm at, how to get in the river, how to get out of the river. Um, really cool, really exciting. This is what it's all about, folks. So thank you very much for tuning in. Um, sit back and relax. Toss in a uh, subscribe, thumbs up, like and share. <laughs> Appreciate it, folks. We will be checking in here shortly on our uh, way down to the river. Ta-da! Oh, it's been a while since I had this pack fully loaded. All right, folks, let's go. That was cold and deep. Not really deep, but that was chilly.
Well, folks, it is freaking warm out. So warm that um, I'm just wet waiting. And to be honest with you folks, uh, I shouldn't have even come up today. It's too warm this weekend. It's gonna be warm tomorrow. It's not even gonna be very cold tonight. So, uh, this is just my first pass through the pool. I really wasn't gonna fish until later on this evening when the sun started to go down and cooled off a little bit. But I went to go set up my tent and my tent pole broke. So I MacGyvered it, rigged it up, and just decided the hell with it. I uh, have been fishing pretty hard for the last few months. It's uh, getting to that time of the season when the water is getting warm. I mean, the temperatures uh, this morning were good. The height of the water is good, but you know, it's 27 degrees, 30 degrees Celsius out, you, you're not gonna hook a salmon. And the water temperature has warmed up enough. Like I said, folks, I'm uh, wet wading and it's beautiful. I'm not cold at all. So I don't expect to hook a fish, but uh, I am gonna fish Hey Check Valley. And uh, I don't know, let's see if we can get a turn or something. I caught that bush back there, didn't I? I caught me a bush. The old bushy bushwhacker caught himself a bush. So yeah, the, the plan was to spend the night here in tent. Brought my bag and all my gear down, but you know, I'm gonna enjoy the day and I'm gonna hike back out and I might fish another spot this evening. Probably not. And I'll probably head back to Moncton and just make this a uh, day trip up. Nothing wrong with that. And then we're gonna have to be uh, a little bit more attentive to the weather and to what the temperature is gonna do. Cause ah, this isn't great fishing weather. I mean, it's beautiful out. The height of the river is perfect. But uh, even if there are some fish here, I, I don't, I don't see them taken. And I'm pretty surprised to see how warm the water is up here. I'd say it's at least low 70s. It's at least 70 because it's not even remotely chilly on my legs here. So um, let's give you guys a panoramic view of Paycheck Valley Pool. a pretty awesome spot one of if not one of my favorite spots on the little southwest Miriam she nice deep water over here calm water down there beautiful scenery big old boulders nice beach a uh, cool story about this spot. There used to be a camp here. Well, I'll show it to you because I was doing a little bit of bushwhacking around it. I'd like to make a somewhat of a decent campsite here for a few tents. Anyways, long story short, uh, years ago, I'm not sure how long ago, some fellas uh, come on in here and grabbed a Crown, Rele Crown Reserve lease and uh, lease some land and build a camp. It's fine, you should be able to do that. You should be able to grab plots of Crown uh, public water and build a camp on it and pay for the lease. Cool, build the camp, awesome. Well, uh, these yohoos, apparently as the story goes, they claimed rights to the water as well, which was uh, not true. This is a public pool, it's well known and it's beautiful, so. Of course they wanted it to themselves, but the locals weren't gonna have any of that. And so, what the locals decided to do, these guys tried to, I don't know if they tried to put the run to people or they just tried to put access to it or what, they, they said that you know they had their repertorian rights to uh, Paycheck Valley 
cool. And well, they didn't. So what the locals did is they come in and uh, they burned down the camp. <laughs> and that was the end of that argument because the camp obviously never got rebuilt. I put uh, a lot of remnants of the camp still here. There is uh, the old chimney and fireplace is still there. All of the bed frames are still there. I don't know whatever they had for some, some plumbing, but yeah, anyways, when she burned down, they just left everything there and be crazy. It's all grown up in between it. We'll check it out on our way out here. Well, y'all folks should have seen that, but the salmon just jumped out of the water down there. So we're gonna set up the spay and carry away. I haven't spit my spay rod in a while and this is a pool where I actually prefer to switch, uh, switch it up and fish my spay because uh, after those two big rocks there, there really isn't any room for a, a bad cast. So it's nice to be able to continue to fish down the rest of that uh, pool there. Let's see how much leader I have on. I don't think I have enough. Oh, oh would you look at that, I do. Nice trout, folks. Is he a trout or is he a chub? Oh, he's a chub. Well, folks, let's be. Bring an old chub. Well, for a second, I, I was like, Ooh, there's a hit, there's a fish. What do we got? Chub. Well, at least I got my hands, some slime on my hands. <clears throat> uh, at least the sun's not directly on the pool anymore. It's almost four o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, I miss, uh, I miss fishing with my spay. I really do. Oh, par hanging out right around that rock. And that's why we fish barbless, so we don't hurt the pars. We're gonna go ahead, hike back to the car, and do a little extra exploring, and probably head her back to Monkey Town. It's too hot to fish. Too hot to camp. Nah, it's not really too hot to camp. I'm being a baby. I broke my tent and I'm going home. All my stuff's just breaking, folks, and it's it's due to use. I've had a lot of stuff for a, a good number of years, um, and especially my camping gear. 
it, it needs to be replaced badly. I need a, like a new kit, which I can't afford. But I, uh, I don't know. Bottom line, folks, this is the time of year where it is too hot to fish. I should have known better. I was obviously eager to get out of Moncton. Um, you know, but it is nice to get out for a day trip um, to one of my favorite spots. I mean, you can't argue hanging at a spot like this. Since I've been here, the water has dropped a little bit. We put that stick in here. And that's how much it's receded. So just before we leave, I will uh, show you folks what's left of the old camp here. Uh, well, I had energy, I did a little trimming and cleaning in here. But I think um, just get this thinned out all in there and there and you got spots for some tents back there and back there and you can do a little kitchen back here and just be the main kind of campfire. That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, there's the old chimney right there, an old stove place. And like literally the old beds, there's a... Uh, three beds, like the old spring mattresses and everything are still there, right there. And everything just grew up. They burned her down and there's the old wood stove or whatever. I don't know. Kind of cool though. I did a little bit of cleanup work in there. And, uh, well, I think some more is due. But anyway, it's another day, folks. Hiking in felt is gotta be careful. My back is way too heavy as well. Good learning day trip. Good learning experience for me. Made it, thank God. <laughs> Whew. And that's what we call Sporty's Madness Boot Camp. I don't know why I do it to myself, folks, but oh, it was a good workout. Good for you, good for me. And uh, teaches me a lesson to buy new gear before it falls apart on you when you need it. Oh, uh, my kidding, I could have made do, but. Ah. Oh. Well, that was quite the hike out. Uh, damn, it's hot. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, folks, but I. Absolutely hate the heat. I hate it. I, I just can't be. I just one of my things. I just I don't, I don't like the heat. <laughs> uh, when it gets too warm, it's just too much for me, and I need to go where I'm not pouring and dripping sweat. Um, really good trip. Uh, I'm gonna sum it up as a good little. Uh, like a precursor or a little trial run um, for what I'm going to be getting into for the next couple of months is a lot more hiking and overnighting. Uh, I need to get some gear dialed in. That's for sure. I need to get that pack lighter. Um, it's a 
little trickier having to travel with waders and uh, fly rods in my box, my fly boxes. But I think I can figure it out. Um, my tent broke. The, uh, one of the tent poles broke. And I don't know, the clips and the thing ripped on it where the tent pole slips through. One of the ends, it's completely ripped wide open now. And yeah, I was just trying to shove it in there and I broke it. So, <laughs> string of luck for me. Uh, it's not been great with equipment this year. Last week, I broke a rod. I don't even know what happened to it. I just pulled it out of the rod case. So my uh, Q-Series Luke 9 weight single hand is now kaput. I've been wearing the uh, Luke hat that I got the same year I own the Battle Shack. In memory of it. So I'm using my Reddington Crosswater Single hand, it's an eight foot nine or it's a nine foot eight weight, and it's looking really good. I hooked a uh, fish with it last week, and uh, that was pretty awesome. So, hmm. um, what else did I mess up? It's been a great week for me. Oh, so last night, me being me, and I was tired, wanting to get up here and in a rush. I went to go clear the memory card that I had in this GoPro. Alright, cool. It had all the footage from July 9th and 10th on it. I camped out at Blue Balls for the night and went forwarding with Paul, went into Paycheck Valley, and this was all last weekend. Um, I hooked a fish in the morning after sleeping there overnight and then I stopped off at Coryville of all places uh, and hooked a grill and landed it on my way home there. So anyways, that footage was for the 9th and 10th of July. All of it was on the GoPro and I, well, I have it on, saved on my D drive on my uh, computer and deleted it off the memory card with the GoPro plugged in. Okay, cool, fine. Got distracted. Two seconds later, I had both files open. So I had the D drive open and I had the GoPro file open. And I'm like, oh, it didn't delete. Highlight, control, or shift. Click, delete. Would you like to delete? Yes, delete. Turns out I deleted all the files for the 9th and 10th of July on the GoPro and on my computer. I tried quickly to research the first three ways to try to recover it. Um, one of which would probably have worked if I had the feature turned on to have history on the files for my D drive. Apparently the feature is turned on for my C drive, but no, my D drive. So, cool. <laughs> first goof up there. Uh, lost some pretty good footage. The grills that I heard, the, yeah, the grills that I hook, and you, you can see the fish come out of the water a little bit, but I had only hooked it for two or three seconds, so I mean, it wasn't great footage. Uh, but at least I had gotten it. And then, Fish of Coryville, that was some nice footage. That was really nice. It was cool. I uh, hooked a fish. Um, Quite a bit of line out there on a number four uh, chartreuse green machine with a red butt and no tail. And yeah, the fish came straight at me. It was funny, it uh, bolted right for me. So I, uh, I had to maneuver the fish and then it ran past me and went upstream. And I did a pretty good job. Well, you'd be proud of me, buddy. You can see the video. I'm gonna still try to recover the file. Because I actually was trying to do two episodes out of all that 9th and 10th because I camped out and I had so much footage from hanging out with Paul and I camped out that night and hooked the fish the next day. So I had done an episode and I had it saved and good to go. I just think I deleted the copy of the episode too. So I'm going to search the computer and talk to my IT guy, being my brother. 
see if there's anything that we can do to try to recover those files, but I'm not hopeful. I looked up did some research on it real quick. So, anyways, I just need to slow down a little bit. It's been pretty hectic for me. Um, I've been going through some health stuff and just trying to get some stuff dealt with. Um, yeah, so I just gotta take a relaxer and I think it was just kind of silly of me running up here today when it's 27 degrees Celsius. It's just too hot. It's going to be 29 tomorrow, 30 on Monday. Way, uh, way too warm for salmon fishing. We need a um, good rain uh, to cool the water off and, you know, a couple good cold nights, and I don't think it's supposed to be cold in these nights, so. Anyways, here we have it, folks. Um, it's July 16th, and that was a day trip up to the Little Southwest Mary Machine River, um, at a pool that I like to call, um, I call it <laughs> oh paycheck valley yeah and, and there's actually like multiple pools there and, and anyways but yeah um, there's at least three pools there anyways I want to get back there and I want to get to some spots above it so lots of room lots of time this summer we're going to take a chill got tomorrow off I'm going to head back to Moncton here now hang out with the wife and eat puppies and enjoy some hair conditioning and pray for cooler temperatures, colder nights, and more rain. All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate uh, you folks for watching. If you're still here, listen to me ramble on. And um, don't have anything else to say for this. Hope you guys are doing good. See you next time, folks. Riverside.